I will note that this animation, the how I explain it in this tutorial, is probably too long and should have been edited and probably made uh, again to explain it. But you can render this out in Blender um, over the top in the compositor, okay? But looping it in Blender, it can get kind of complicated. Um, so I'm not, I'm just doing it in OBS. Um, but, but I was just making this, adding this to this video. Hello, welcome to this simple, easy blender tutorial. You see the text, how they're rotating in my OBS scene. You can download OBS for free if you don't know, and you can put it as an overlay, or if you were going to just put it in a blender file, whatever you want to do with it. I'm just going to show you the easy breakdown of it. So... Let's open up Blender. All right. So you just want to add in some text. So you got your text. Press tab to edit it. And then what you want to do is press um, F3. See, you can add a solid here, um, but it might it might sometimes it glitches out so you can either you put a solid there and then do the next step or you can um, press F3 and type in convert convert to mesh from text so now you have a mesh now it's just a mesh press tab go into edit mode select all extrude down so I mean it depends on how much you want it, to give it a little depth it looks better if you want to smooth it flat I mean it can kind of uh you know these edges aren't that great so you can you can either smooth it or by shade smooth or you can smooth it right here which can actually glitch out actually so you have to i think if you subdivide it should it should work better uh kind of doesn't work better uh it doesn't look it looks like a little, it's a little bit of a texture so that's cool but anyways um I think that's fine for what I'm doing. Um, actually, now that I'm looking at this, that can be kind of a problem. But you won't get this problem if you just put sol some. Sol actually, well, yeah, if you just put sol uh, solidify on it, it won't do this, but it can glitch out, which is actually a glitch. Anyways, let's put a material. I have an, a pre made material. I'm not going to show you how to make a material. Unfortunately, this is just a metal shader. If you don't know how to make a metal shader, pretty easy. You can watch a tutorial on that. Um, oh, uh, wrong one. I don't. Oh, not te <laughs> material. Jesus, Christ. is that the right one? So it's just metal. Um, put in a put in the uh, light your scene up. You probably want to get multiple angles, so it reflects. It reflects whenever you're. Um, whenever you're spinning it um and then you want some highlights probably um i'm just doing like the simple dirty version of this so that's the, the what it looks like looks pretty good actually um i got a little bit on the front you kind of want some on the front you know kind of get this sort of Oh man, I can't tell where it's at. Jesus. That's what I wanted. Right there. Watch this, you know, you don't have to have... You can look at the shader settings if you want to copy it. It's just a simple metal shader. I just have a grave noise texture, shift A to add textures, add the color ramp, all that stuff. But like I said, I'm not going to show you, but sometimes the bump map can create a little bit of distortion that you don't want. But that's that's that if you you play around with lighting and stuff i'm not really going to do too much so what you want to do is put your 3d and there could be another way to do this but pre, put your 3d cursor on the middle go to object set origin origin to 3d cursor so you're on the you're on the center now what you want to do is open up your graph editor go down here open up the graph editor go right here press n open up this to transform and we want to do Y. Right click, insert single keyframe. 
Okay. So you got a single keyframe. Go into the rotation of the Y. Press N. Open this. Go to modifiers. Add modifier. Generator. So this is actually going to automate it, but it's going too fast. So I found that 0.01 is a decent speed just for rotating it. Like if you put it in a video, so I'm going to show you some other tips on this. If you put this in a OBS video, people might have other concepts on this too. Now it's just rotating. Now you can add your camera. Now, if I make mistakes, I'm sorry. Some people might watch this and be like, Hey, that's wrong. Not perfect. Um, so anyway, it's rotating now. It's rotating at a pretty good speed. Whoa, this is kind of. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> but now you just want to get this, you know, get your text centered. The idea is just to get the, the origin in the center. And then, you know. Well, there you go. I'm not going to center it too well, I guess. But you can also add a noise modifier if you wanted to, which is getting into different stuff. And that can that will kind of, you can do it really slow. Like, it'll go both directions. If you know about, gra I'm not going to explain this too much, but it's just up or down, X, Y, X, Y, X, Y, X. Like, or it's on the Y, but it's changing the Y. So that's that. Um, if you want to make it loop perfectly, um, you um, go so you, right here, right? This is the rotation. Go to the timeline. You can see you can see the rotation change as I change the frame. So when you get to 360, when you get to 360, right here, that's 360. It's 628, the frame. Put the end frame 628. And now it will loop. See how it's in the same spot? So it'll go around. So you have to rain like 628 frames. Or if you do, if you do, if you did it, um, if you made it rotate faster, um, and you have less frames, then you can also slow that down in another video editing software. Or you, I don't know really how you would do that in Blender, but you could. But then it would have like less frames. So that's that. And then you can do, you know, whatever art text. But then, so you export this into an MP4. Go right here. Um, and you want to choose FFmpeg encoding MPEG4. So that's MP4. That's like a standard format. Um, you can put the uh, samples like 20. You can put the samples pretty low and still not really lose too much in EV, which is nice. And then you can also do bloom. So maybe go up to five and and play with it a little bit. See, if you get the light right, you can get some cool reflections in it. But the thing about transparency is it's probably not going to cover, it's not going to get the sort of bloom on the back side. So like it'll just get the bloom on the, the mesh type thing. I don't really, that gets kind of more advanced, more than I really want to explain. But that's sort of that. So that's bloom. No, you do your bloom. If you don't know how to do bloom, then. Okay, so that's export. You want to name the file desktop. I'm not going to actually export this, <laughs> but let's see. Okay, now you go up here and you go to film, go to this tab, film, and transparent. So it's transparent background. Now, this is where it gets kind of complicated because you can't just put this into OBS. But if I took this into OBS right here, I'll actually show you. So you take it in. Oop, I have different scenes. Actually, that's this is my... Uh, these are some VFXs I did, and this is like a layout I made with Blender, which I actually might do a tutorial on overlays. Um, but yeah, anyways, this is it's like a stream, <laughs> Bobby Hill. That was a joke for my Twitch stream. Um, anyways, yeah, this is this is um, I just have an image in the background. If you know OBS, that's kind of a different thing. I'm not really trying to really like do a tutorial on OBS, but um, I have I have it in here, right? So you drag the video in here, right here to your scene. I'm not going to really show you how to just set up a scene, but here it is. But I actually, what I did was I put a filter on, and I I add color key right here. So you add the color key, and then you go to custom color, and then you just do black. 
and then it will take out the black background which is a transparent background or if you had a red background you can take out the red or whatever you're doing so it basically just took out the background that's a simple way to do that now if i record this video like well i am actually recording a video it's it might be like a high file like a it's it's a um, high um large file size um so what you want to do is get this software it's free um it's called handbrake so this handbrake this um oh wow you can't see it actually oh yeah handbrake so this handbrake software it's free open source just like blender you can you drop you drop your oh, i guess i have to show you exactly. you drop your file in this is just an mp4 and uh you can choose your settings here um to to convert it but in you might you might not get good i don't know why this is you might not get good results you might you might not it might not even matter so this is where it can kind of be iffy with this with putting this in a with a video but if you go down here dot mp4 dot mp4 i don't know why it says mp4 right here it, i don't know why that's not the output it's just weird but browse i mean i don't know everything about it but browse desktop whatever you want i already converted this actually i actually converted the original files just the text files to shrinking those down but they were like three megabytes but when i made a video with it it was a large file putting a video over video and then recording it so that's why i like use this handbrake and then you can do this with any um video really essentially but sometimes it won't you won't get good results sometimes you will sometimes you know it will like it won't really take out quality too much um but it's it's just a converter i think you can actually convert to you can convert to 4k i mean i i wouldn't think that if you didn't film in 4k it wouldn't matter but so this is how to bring down the file size it's free and that's just a simple um tutorial now also i'm gonna oh, i might as well give you a bonus here um so if you actually go into the shader and if you want to do a cool effect you can put in um instead of having it you can put in a color node you put in a hue right here um choose the color whatever oh it's buffering sometimes you can get too strong of reds I, I don't know colors can be too strong for me but you can um you can uh you can you can make this wait no oh yeah is that it yeah so you put in a frame uh, press i on hue right and this is an, just a bonus effect so you go in you you click on you click on the node and then it comes in down here on the graph editor go to the shader node tree find it this is the value hue right here on the graph so add in a noise and just make it go up and down see now you have this and then this you can control the how how frequent you want it now i'm going to give you another bonus effect so this is kind of extreme though this the color so you kind of want to bring it down a little bit maybe I mean, you can even do like a slight little change like just a little baby change like right there maybe see well it's not really it it almost looks like ice a little bit actually shitty ice maybe um so you um for a bonus i've already showed this effect but i don't really care i'm gonna show this effect again add in a mix shader add in a shader transparent okay and then uh basically do the same thing right here add a frame on the factor of these um Go over here, add a noise. And this will make it disappear and reappear. And uh, you can go over here and add clip. I think clip is what. Oh, it's 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 loading. So with with these two effects, see it it can kinda it kinda goes back and forth. So it's disappearing and reappearing. See. But you can actually add a you can add this limits and this limits how much up it will go so add maximum of one minimum of zero so now it'll only be if you see if you crank this 
it'll be one or zero one or zero so it won't go too high or too low it'll either be one or zero see and then i mean you can do the, all this fucking all this stuff and then um maybe add a you can add you can even add it here and then change this now i apologize for the smoothness of this um but see how this see that you can change that too so this this is just a cool cool effect add noise limits the other one just got taken off see oh wait well you have to crank it wait oh no you want the maximum like 50 yeah see now, now that will change and then an another bonus go to color mix rgb and add in two textures and we will do uh veroni add in two textures and see this is where you can get some cool glitch effects oh no i'm messing stuff up but yeah you can get some cool glitch like crazy weird actually i do apologize that i couldn't really get this the geometry to be completely smooth but i just shaded smooth it so i mean sometimes you it looks weird when you shade smooth um but yeah but do do one on this even now um oh i shaded smooth i don't know why it's not yeah i apologize about the shade smooth that can be kind of a iffy thing to do sometimes when you're trying to make things sort of be smooth and in this program it can kind of be hard because you type smooth you do the smooth modifier but it's like it's it's almost like it's bugged but it's not bugged because it's based on the geometry but it is kind of bugged but they need something that goes into it that has like adaptability to your geometry so you, you just add one here actually is this even working i think it should you might have to put a color ramp in And you should probably have a color amp over here too, actually. Well, I mean, you can control how strong it is right here with the color amp. Well, this is, well, this texture is, I think, oh, I have it on distance. Why is distance? Okay. I'm just trying to put in some random shaders to show you. The loading is annoying. Come on. Okay. So that's that. So it goes from this to that. This to that. And maybe you don't want it that strong. Maybe you want a little bit. And you can change it. You can put a noise on this too. This the slider right here. Position. Add noise. See? So that will do that. And then you could you could do the same thing here. The possibilities are endless, folks. Oh come on. Come on. Come on. My computer is trying to load all this crazy stuff I'm doing. Noise. See? And then you put one for right here that's the one i was what noise this one might need a limits min max one pretty easy and you can actually put a min max over on those ones too. but see how it kind of weird and then you can put one on the scale so you could just go crazy put one on the scale then now if you want put a noise see now it's now it's like it's doing some glitch effects but to make it disappear you would have to go to color ramp here and i could show a more complex 
like if you could put lightning on it and you could actually distort it with a with a glass lens too which is another thing yeah that's sort of like that's yeah so i'll get her like that and then eye on that and then that you can put a noise on that so now it's well you want to put a limit because sometimes you need that limits to prevent it from going to being too strong oh i had the wrong 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 one on see There we go. You have to kind of play around with it and see how it's like kind of glitchy, more complicated, but yeah. And I mean, I don't know what you want to do. Um, Maybe you want to add a wireframe. Even thickness. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Oh, that. I thought I turned that off. Come on. Come on. Turn it off. Sometimes this program, man. You know, you do one thing. Yeah, that's that's wireframe, but I kind of subdivided it a lot, so it well, yeah, I mean, that's sort of the tutorial, I guess. Um, but yeah, you can put a wireframe if you come on, don't do, it's lagging because I have so much going on, um, but. If you put the material, where's the material? Material offset, so material two. So you put in another material here. And let's just, just pink, just so you can see it. And so that actually will stay. See, so that material will stay, but this will change. See? And then you can, so then, so then, you can uh, at, do the same effects to this that you did to that one. And then it will be, and then it, it almost looks like little TVs or something. <laughs> but if it had less geometry, which you can add a modifier to, I can pump, crank this down if I wanted to. Oh, computers are running really slow. But I, I showed you how to load it into OBS if you wanted to, I mean, I use I use OBS for recording videos, so it's like ideal, you know, it's free. It's kind of, my computer's kind of crashing, or the program's cl crashing right now, which isn't always good. Sometimes I have like one, try to, and then it, the, as you remove some, and you know, there there's a whole bunch of different tricks you can do, so it's not like... Okay, that's that's like a little bit smaller. That's just that's pretty fucking that's pretty cool actually. Look at that. I didn't even mean to do that, but look at it, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> that is such a fucking cool effect, man. It's just amazing text. But you know, and then you can do the same thing with that. One thing you can do, which is cool, is select your text, go into the shader editor. Uh, we're gonna mix it with a transparent, but I'm gonna show a different thing you can do. What's the gradient texture is kind of an underrated thing. So if you mix the texture right here, and you choose transparent right here, and you want, of course you want to have this on alpha clip. So it, well, it's yeah. So that's that. What so gradient. So see how it, so you can, um, yeah, you get the idea. You basically can make this disappear or not. Like that. 
T. And then, <laughs> man, these graphs are just insane, man. It's like, so you put one there. And see, you can put two of these shaders on there. You put two wireframes on. <laughs> it, it just gets insane, man. It just gets to, when you start like, I can do noise on this. I can do this. I can do this. See how that works? Well, it's going a little bit fast. And you probably want one, you probably want limits on this. So it doesn't go past. Which it's not actually working that well. Um, which it might be because it's not strong enough or it's not. But you actually want this one too. Which I think there's a way to change the shader on this. So, or to change it so it's. See, now there's even more. So it's not as choppy kind of thing. I think maybe you would actually. Maybe if you add one of these in the center. Yeah, and then you could put you could put multiple ones. I don't know why these are both moving. That's weird. I had the I had it on the black one and now it's And then add noise. Just given ideas, you know. This is this is actually like above and beyond what I used. Um this is like way beyond what I used. You see that? Such a cool glitch, glitch effect. And you can just keep adding and adding and adding until basically your computer breaks. But, you know, that's a pretty awesome effect. Now, to take this even farther, I think to take this even farther, you would do lightning. Um, and you get the desired effect. I mean, that's a pretty sick effect. Um, uh, so if you want to do lightning, I'm going to do the quick version. You add, you just make a shape, um, make a shape of lightning. Oh man. I, I did this actually in another tutorial, but I guess I'm doing it again to show how to use it. I did some cool lightning. And this is probably not the best way to make... This is easy, simple lightning. So you, there's actually a lot of different ways you can make lightning, but... You know, you just want to look at... If you look at lightning, it just kind of branches out. It's like a vein. It's like a vein. But this is... This is pretty decent. Like, I don't really care that much. It's just, this is just, uh, this is just for, uh, just this tutorial kind of thing. Having problems. There we go. See, that's really simple. Um, but what you, what you do is, um, add this. So go, wait, just duplicate it. This is going to make it look really cool, by the way. This is like next level. This is like above and beyond what you would normally do. Like it really is like you just you just don't do this. No one no one made a tutorial like this. You can't get this tutorial. So please subscribe and like, you know, I'm trying to make cool stuff with cool text. So what you want to do is just just parent it to it. The parent, like both control P parent. So now it twists with it, right? But you, if you go over here, and I did this in another tutorial, simple add a modifier, simple deform, and then it's gonna it's gonna put a frame put a uh, put a frame on that. Go down here and add a noise. And if you really crank this, like you can just get some crazy results. You know, like this. Probably don't want it to be.
And you couldn't put limits on it? Like, that's probably too much. Actually, was I doing stretch? Bend. There's a, there's a certain point that you don't want it to go. But that's pretty good. And then you can put two of them on there. Um... Add noise. You can put limits on too. So like for this. See for this. Uh, so I'd add a. Add limits on like. Say I want to do like 300. Max minimum zero. Cut it off. So it won't go above 300. So if 300 where it, the mesh gets out of control. And it's too thick. And you do that. But if you add in. If you take this material right here. Material two. That, you know, that's kind of glitching out right here. Um, it'll, it see, now you have lightning. But this is not, this isn't the right. See how it's sort of, it's, it's not the right. It's supposed to be a mission. Um, so you just, you know, just plug in an emission. Where is it? There's probably ways, to, um, you could probably control this better. Um, whoever you, you know, there, oh, I made a mistake. Um, yeah, you have to duplicate that. I do that sometimes. You have to duplicate over here. So make a new material and then basically just use the other template for the other one. There we go. Now you got some lightning. I mean, it's probably not the best lightning, but maybe you want a blue. It's pretty good though. It's not that bad of lightning, really. I mean, if you if you extreme, if you pump it up, then it will kind of pretty pretty simple effect. I mean, I didn't even really try that hard to make that lightning. Um, but this is different on this one. Um, so change it so it's different than. So it, it, it flickers a different point than the other one. Oh, I think I messed that up. See? Make it more frequent. Kind of look down here. Up, down, up, down. One, zero, one, zero. Frequent. This is going to strength. The top one's going to be the main one. See? There you go. And, you know, of course, I mean, maybe this isn't what... Maybe this isn't what you want. You know, maybe you want... You know, you can change the color here, too. So, um, you know, just add in a hue. Just some really cool effects. You know? Of course, you can make it a little bit dark. You could even do, um, take out the saturation. And make it just do shades of gray. Um, there it is. So yeah, I mean, just messing with nodes. Limits. But yeah, limits. You add a limits. You have to check these boxes and it's zero at minimum. One at max. Whatever you're doing. There you go. It changes the color. The color kind of looks kind of nasty, actually. On parts. That's a huge change. You know, and then you can make a metal, whatever. I mean, you can even change the metal, you know? <laughs> Get crazy, you know? Jesus Christ. Ain't transparent. Just crazy, you know? Insane. Just beyond. Just beyond insane, you know? I'm actually writing a book called Beyond. Boom. Crazy. You know? And if you want to add some more variation. See, this. I like the idea of having a simple shape. And be able to bend it like this. 
but if you want more rotate it a little bit and maybe change tweak the settings on the modifiers um maybe tweak these so it's a it's different you know maybe change maybe give it a different color like a slightly different so then it's like this see cool and it does kind of look ugly at times uh the color the the hue actually the the hue tip is probably not a good the hue tip's probably not a good way to change color actually um now you can put a keyframe on this and put in the noise here but eh, i mean or you can go like right here that's actually the hue isn't it so you might not even have to you can probably uh put one right here actually that's actually true i mean you don't even have to put in that node actually you can just put it right here yeah can you oh you can't okay yeah so you would use it but i mean i think if you look at the you play it Okay, you can't really see the color change in real time or it stays okay so the hue stays but this change okay well the color actually stays see that ugly yellow that ugly yellow is terrible but you can also you can also just put in a color amp and uh maybe do this near hl hsl near so now it just it's just a cool gradient so that makes it look a little bit less ugly i mean you don't even have to really mess with the color but that's i don't know man and you know i i do get that my materials can kind of be ugly and they can kind of you know i'm sure other people can make better materials than me and do better effects um but other than that i mean this is a pretty simple like it's pretty easy breakdown but maybe i'm just saying that because it, i think it's fucking more you know to me it's easy but anyway that's probably about it um you i mean i don't know man this <laughs> this material kind of looks not that great so I'm gonna try to change it. Um, maybe I will render this out. This is pretty awesome, actually. I'm pretty satisfied with this. Pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. I think it was because this is interacting with the roughness. I'm getting bad reflections. And you might want the same hue on. So, I mean, that's probably the end of the tutorial. Um, I'm sure people could make better stuff. There's actually some people that make some uh, good shader tutorials. I, I might actually try to implement um, some of those shaders, even though, I mean, I kind of can do my own thing here, but... There were some other shaders that I might wanted to check might want to check out. And then of course, you know, you could always duplicate this. All sorts of oh, I think the hash is not working. Oh. Or this alpha clip. Sometimes this doesn't really work that well. The alpha hash. For some reason, alpha hashed. I, I see this is another situation where I'm like, okay, I'm probably fucking this up. But so I think alpha hash can be good, but sometimes it doesn't really work that well. And it can got, kind of be really Maybe it's just because of the texture I have. I 
I mean, you can also put this as a emission, which then it would be glowing. Which a wireframe over an emission would probably look cool, like a metal wireframe. Just saying. But then you can duplicate it. Duplicate it out of, well, you might want to take the wireframe off for this, for this one. And then do a simple deform, same thing. Too much, man. Too much. Too much. I don't know about that. <laughs> it kind of looks cool. It does look cool. Look how it's sort of... Look at that. Ooh. You could put limits on it. But also... Um, if you change this down a little bit... Oh, no, wait, not that one. This one. See, then you can make it a little bit ghost. So it's like a little bit not, it's a little bit more transparent. Which now it looks, I mean, actually, you uh, put in a, if you made this look like a mission, You can make it look a little bit like a vortex kind of or kind of like a like a ghost text possibilities are endless here you know it actually changed both of them because i didn't duplicate it which is fine but it still looks pretty fucking awesome um but yeah Lightning, maybe, uh, I don't know, smooth it out, maybe? Where's this lightning? Can't even see it when it's... Did I smooth it? You can... I'm sh Dude, I am... I'm so sure people could make some better stuff with this. I think that's all I'm gonna do for this. Tutorial's been long enough. Been, uh, went on long enough. These are just some examples of things you could do in quick and easy kind of effects. Maybe they're way advanced and I want to admit, but there's a lot more you could probably do with this with the with the modifiers and um reforming the mesh. You know, there's probably a lot more here than I can really get in one session, but this is pretty fucking advanced stuff here. I appreciate it. Please excuse my swearing. And please like and subscribe. I'm making a lot of tutorials and stuff and different content. Just trying to build a channel and I don't know. Just trying to test the waters out and stuff. So like and subscribe if you want to see some more. It's the only way I can really know to make that kind of content is if you like something and it gets more attention. Then I can focus more on that. But other than that, I mean, I just kind of make whatever I want to make. So thanks. Have a good day.